primary care is um, first and foremost focused on prevention. In primary care, we really take um, an ounce of prevention is worth a, a pound of cure to heart. Um, so when we're working with uh, people, we like to identify um, any risk factors that they have and partner with them to reduce or eliminate that risk. Certainly, if a uh, disaster happens and someone has a car accident or a heart attack or stroke or develops cancer, they're going to encounter a large number of specialists, uh, cardiologists, oncologists, nephrologists, infectious disease, endocrine. Um, they'll, um, they'll be uh, interfacing with physical therapy and, and home care. And the uh, purpose behind primary care in a situation like that is really to, to dot the I's and cross the T's. We have to really take a look at it, identify any gaps in the care and, and fill them. Really what I like to do is, I, I kind of jokingly refer to it as, as translating doctor into English. Um, and in doing that, uh, people become way less intimidated um, by the medical system because it is a very foreign system. But a lot of that merely has to do with, with terminology. And um, if I can um, spend time with people, develop a rapport uh, with people, um, they, they tend to understand their, their medical needs a lot more and they're just in so much better of a, of a position uh, to, to partner with me to help manage the medical condition. So usually the, the more people know, uh, in my experience, the, really the less intimidated they are. Primarily my focus is in patient uh, communication. That's, that's um, what I find is really important. And like I said, breaking complex situations down, trying to explain things to, to people so they're able to navigate uh, um, the medical system and really work and partner with the medical system to help manage whatever needs that they have.